what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time seeing me on YouTube, my name is Ryan and don't forget to go ahead and follow my three social medias listed down below. Today's video is going to be my dorm haul part two. I filmed another video before doing this one because I wanted to kind of space them out and make sure that I had like everything before I put out another video. So we're going to go ahead and get started. This video is going to be kind of focused more on my decor and desk stuff because I did all my bedding and kind of like the boring stuff and this is all the wall stuff and like every little knickknack that goes and kind of ties the room together. If you're all wondering, I decided to kind of go full glam on my makeup today just to have fun. I'm a really big fan of like really dark saturated uh, lipstick color so this lipstick is from Bite and then I use the Tartiste, um, Tartiste, Tartiste, whatever palette for my eyes and I tried to do like a little smoky eye to match my Brandy Melville shirt. So if you're wondering, just gonna throw that out there. And what's super crazy is that I actually move in and I think it's 24, 20, mm, I think it's 22 days that I move in actually. And that is so crazy to me. I am so, so excited, but that's like, that's insane. That's so soon, but I mean, I'm ready. Like I have everything. I have my orientation on August 8th, so in less than a week, and I'm really excited for that too. Going alone, I don't have anyone to go with. So if you're going to be a freshman at Cal State San Marcos, and you're going to orientation on August 8th, hit me up so we can meet up. We don't have to be alone because I'm not going to know anybody, and they separate like your parents aside from you, so I'm a little bit nervous. I did end up getting a lot of walls decor and it's not all gonna go in my room uh, I'm thinking about kind of working with my roommates and putting some of the stuff in the living room too I don't really know what's going where so some of the pieces don't correspond or correlate together but for the most part if they don't go together they're gonna be in separate rooms so I'm just gonna show you guys everything all together because I did get a lot of really really cute wall decor from Urban Outfitters and The Grove and um, Ikea. The first thing I'm going to be showing you guys is this desk lamp. Um, this is from Target. It's white and it just bends. It kind of reminds me of like the Pixar, like the little bouncy thing. But um, it's actually really cool. It has like a USB port and then a plug right here. And then it's got like four little organizer slits and then a pen slash pencil holder. So this one was from Target. Um, it is part of the Room Essentials brand and I believe it was $20. I don't really remember the price on this, but this one is so perfect and the, the little knob turns on right here. I think it like, it's gonna be really nice on the desk. The next thing I got is gonna be like really boring, but definitely a necessity. I got two of these uh, surge protectors. They have six outlets on each one and they're by Philips. They're from Target also and they were $14.99 each. Uh, I'm definitely going to need them. If I don't put both of them in my room, uh, then we'll end up using one in the living room probably. But these are definitely a necessity so I did pick up two of these. Then I got these command hooks but these ones are different because they're like little clothespin. I don't know if you guys can see that. Little clothespin hooks. Uh, I thought that these would be better for my tapestry or if I have like any wall decor that I want to hang where that way if we see these on the wall and they're like exposed it's actually not gonna be that ugly. They're kind of cute. They look like little um, like an alternative to like washi tape. You know how people like hang their stuff with washi tape and it looks cute. I think it will do the same thing with these little clothespin type command hooks. The next thing, okay I'm not gonna kill myself trying to pick this up but not heavy but it's like really big is <laughs> this end table it's from Amazon it was $20 it has little wooden posts it's so easy to put together so easy and then it's just a white circle oh, I'm putting that down now I think honestly I don't even know if I'm gonna have room for this in my dorm somewhere but if I don't I'll probably return it or sell it on like Mercari or Poshmark or something but I think this could be like a really cute little nightstand if I do end up having the room for it. This is the only thing that I was like unsure about buying. Um, it's so cute though and I think it would be like a really really nice nightstand to kind of just 
put like some little magazines or like little books or something on there I think it's like it matches well if you guys notice I'm like out of breath or like sweating a little bit it's because I literally have oh my god all my dorm stuff is downstairs in my dad's side of the garage and it's all piled up like all neat and nice and I forgot to film this video so I've been like lugging like four or five like items upstairs filming about them bringing them back downstairs and like swapping them with something else and I'm so tired because some of the stuff is so heavy and then I have to put everything back downstairs like all the way after I'm like done with this video and I literally it's it's too much okay back to the actual video okay so the next thing that I have is this ow, this is like kind of sharp not sharp but like prickly it's a doormat this says hello goodbye and it's from um, Target I think this is so cute because when you like walk in you read the hello part and then like when you're leaving you read like it's from Target and it is part of the room essentials collection too um, it was only ten dollars and I ordered it online because I couldn't find it in store ten dollars is such a steal for that so I think we're gonna put it like outside our door not inside I've seen like the hallways for the dorms and they're like inside a building like technically but they are more like this outside like apartment style like hallway if that makes sense so uh i think it'll fit like really nice next thing i got is from ikea and this is like a um tabletop um something that people use to like eat breakfast in bed type thing uh i'm gonna set my laptop on it if you can see like the little picture right there um i actually saw this in another dorm hall i don't remember exactly who it was but once i'll figure it out after i film and i'll link them down below and give them credit i think it was margot lee's dorm hall from her freshman year that i saw her get this but um not 100 sure like i said it is from ikea it was 12 dollars, i believe and i mean it's just a super easy like when i'm sitting in my bed and i want to do homework like a little tabletop thing so that i don't always have to sit at my desk like i have the option to go ahead and sit in my bed okay the next thing I got is from Target again it is a room essentials ironing board um, it actually I don't know if you can see right here it has like a little hook on it so you can hang it like this like in your closet and it's just like a mini size and then it has two little like legs on the bottom so you can like stand it on the floor or like on a countertop or something um, this is actually gonna help me a lot because I was a little bit worried about like ironing my clothes and how I was gonna go about doing that but I found this at Target it's from the room essentials brand and it was I believe $13 sorry I bought this like a month ago so I'm like trying to remember where I got some of the stuff at okay so the next thing that I have is I don't fix it this um, rose gold copper um, wall grid okay so this is definitely going in my room it's gonna hang probably like on the side wall of where my bed is gonna be because I'm gonna put my bed like in the corner and then put the wall grid on the side uh, this is from Amazon it was I believe anywhere between 20 and 30 dollars and the one on Urban Outfitters was like close to a hundred dollars I don't even know it was ridiculous so I tried to find alternative on Amazon and this one was perfect so I got this um, I did have to buy this little shelf uh, separately and these little planter because I'm gonna put little succulents in here these little planters were separately also and they were also on Amazon and they were about $15 and I believe the shelf was 10 and then it comes with like these little clips and I think it's gonna be super super cute to hang up like little photos like all over it and it's just gonna be like a very nice center like wall decor piece when I was looking for pieces for like the wall, I got all my inspiration from Urban Outfitters, but I tried to find like cheaper alternatives to it. So something like similar, if not exactly the same on Amazon or Target and stuff like that because Urban Outfitters is really pricey. But there were a couple of things that I couldn't find anywhere else that I just really liked that were from Urban Outfitters. So I sucked it up and did end up buying them. So one of those things was this peg board. Uh, this is from Urban Outfitters and I saw this I think it was on Pinterest where people put like little like cute vine quotes or like vine phrases on here and I think that's like really funny so I got one of these um, I can open it and show you guys what it looks like it comes with uh, yellow and white letters 
This one is not a felt board, it's a pegboard, so the letters like stick in. So like the letters are like little plastic pieces and they stick into the little holes like on the grid. So I think this is cute too. I'm not sure if I'm putting this in like the living room maybe if my roommates want to use it too or if I'm going to uh, put it somewhere like by my desk or on my wall. But I thought this was really cute and I couldn't find one that I really liked anywhere else. So once again, this one was from Urban and it was $25, which is like, it's like so, so priced. Like it's not too expensive, but it's like a little bit up there for what it is. Next thing I also got is something like I'm really excited about. Okay, it's in a plain box. But this is from Urban Outfitters and it was $70. I know, that's really expensive. But this one is so cute. It's a neon sign, so like a neon uh, wall sign. And it's it lights up bright pink and it says hello and it's in like a little um, like quote bubble. And I tried to look for um, a cheaper one somewhere else, but I actually found more expensive than the one on Urban Outfitters. Uh, this one is so, so cute. I will put in a video of me like plugging it in. Um, in between like here and the next item but I actually like I'm this was something I was like really really excited about and I think it's gonna look really really cute with like a ton of my other stuff I am kind of scared about the LED light or like the neon light because I read the reviews and some people were saying how it like burnt out really quickly but I'm not like planning on keeping it lit up all the time because I feel like that's like kind of dangerous and also like a waste of power but I mean I feel like it might be okay when I plugged it in it was like completely fine and all the lighting like worked so hopefully it stays that way and it like lasts at least a year if not like two or three years the next thing I got is also from Urban Outfitters I actually found this on Amazon too but I thought it was like a little bit cheaper quality so I didn't get it uh, this is a corkboard world map this is what it looks like um, this is like ideally what some people like use it for like the model um, they're like little stickers um, that go on your wall so instead of having like a cork board above my desk I'm gonna do like the world map cork board and I think this is so cool I remember seeing this a long time ago and I was so excited to get it so I'm just kind of scared that I'm like not gonna put it together right and it's not gonna be centered because they come in like all the separate pieces like there it's not all one thing so hopefully I can get that right but it also comes with um, little map pins so uh, to hang pictures on or like little notes above my desk is gonna be so cute and it is just in like a regular tan color and is a cork board um, they had it in I believe I saw it in like a chalkboard so like a chalkboard world map and like a whiteboard world map too but the cork board was the cutest because the little like red pins that like people pinpoint like on maps and stuff like ties in so well with this so yes I, this is like one of the first things I bought in this is from Urban Outfitters, like I said, and this was $39, so 40 bucks for this. I saw it on Amazon for 20, but it just wasn't as good of quality, so this is from Urban. Okay, uh, next, this item is from Brookstone. I don't know how much it was because actually my mom and my sister are gonna give it away, but I took it from like our donation pile. It is a headphone set. It, but it's not like regular headphones you plug a little like HDMI thing into the TV and you can watch TV with headphones on and I thought this was like really cool because we're gonna have a TV in our living room so if some of us are studying or sleeping and somebody wants to stay up really late at night we can plug the headphones in and be able to watch TV without waking everybody else up uh, this is from Brookstone and I know they do have a lot of um, really good like random products like this it's called the wireless tv headphones so then it says it has crystal clear reception up to 19 feet with virtually no interference from other wireless devices so this is pretty cool it's probably more expensive than i think it is i mean i'll, I'll try and find it on Brookstone and i can link it down below in the description box but i mean essentially this was free because we've had it for a long time and i guess just never used it so this was the next thing now I have to go downstairs and log up some more products but before I do that I do have like a couple of things that I have that aren't set up and they're very nicely in the box that I don't want to like open and take the pieces out so I did end up getting a three-tiered uh, rolling cart from Ikea 
and it's so cute and I think I'm actually gonna put it like on the side of my desk like next to a wall. It's from Ikea and it was $24.99. I got it in a cream color as you can see or wasn't the first color that I wanted. I did want to get a gray one at first um, but they didn't have any gray and I figured like tan would be okay too because I'm doing like the pink and gold theme with grays and whites and then um, accent like my accent like texture I guess you could say is like light wash wood or wood in general so I have like some wooden frames and I have like my desk organizer is like wooden and I have like a bunch of like stuff along those lines so I thought that like the cream would kind of match the wood so it wouldn't be too bad I'm so sorry about like the bad quality but I wanted to give you guys like an overview as to how much stuff I had this is my dad's garage so if you see like hockey stuff that's why but this is like one of the piles so I didn't want to bring up like my printer like I got a printer and like some Tupperware and a Mr. Coffee for my room but I didn't want to bring it up because it's like really heavy that's one of the sections and then the next section I have is like back here in the garage and this is where like my pots and pans and like cooking and kitchen stuff is and then like my storage and a toaster oven like I just have like a ridiculous amount of stuff and I wanted to like include that so you guys could actually see that I can't bring everything like up to where I film but I do have like so much stuff and yeah so as you guys just saw I just showed you guys like a little probably poor quality video of my two piles started in my garage right now and the reason being that I can't bring them all up is because they're like all as messy as it looks like neatly like put away until I move out so I'm only bringing up things that I can like easily pull out and like easily put back in but the last couple things that I did end up bringing up to show you guys individually I will start with this one okay this is like not this is not like a dorm like essential obviously but I ended up picking up a yoga mat for Marshalls because I had a gift card and it's $7.99 and the reason being is because at San Marcos they have like this meditation room which is so cool to me I don't know it's kind of weird but I thought that like doing yoga in there like I would need a yoga mat and this was like I said only seven dollars and it's got like this really pretty um here's the full view if you guys the glare is kind of bad because the lighting but I mean it's like a yellow color with like pink flowers all over it and I mean it has like a little strap and everything so I mean I say this now but I <laughs> I think I hope so that I'll be using like that meditation room so I did buy this because I don't know I walked past it and I was like oh like that's cute and so I picked it up um, hopefully I do get to use it um, if not like I've always wanted to take like a cool yoga class so maybe this will inspire me to do so thank you guys so much for watching my dorm hall part two I cannot wait I cannot who says I cannot I cannot wait I cannot I need to go ahead and do my college move-in vlog. I'm so excited and then eventually my college dorm room tour. And if you guys haven't already, don't forget to give that video a huge thumbs up if you guys enjoyed and hit that post notification button to be notified for my future videos. And of course, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe.